Watch me transform this thrift shop Ariel to Aqua Fantasy Ariel. This makeover was inspired by the Aqua Fantasy Ariel from 1997. You can Google it and see photos of the original. Our doll dresses are usually very easy to make, but this dress will be a challenge. Once this dress is on the doll, you can't take it off, but it's so beautiful, you won't want to. To shorten this video, I will show you how to style her hair, retouch her face, attach the earrings, and make the shell doll stand in another video. This video is just the dress. I'll be using another Ariel doll for this tutorial. To make this dress, you will need some basic sewing tools like pins, a sewing needle, scissors, and measuring tape. One and a half inch wide satin ribbon like this, matching sheer ribbon. Get the kind that is wired like this. It must have a wire in it so it will hold its shape. You will need sheer white to go with your main color. Matching thread, string of pearls. This is a Christmas decoration from the dollar store. Gems and pearls to decorate the dress. Starfish charms. I got these at the craft store in the jewelry aisle. Hair elastic and tape and glittery tool. First, tape Ariel's legs together from her hips down to her feet. This will make it easier to make the dress and it'll look smoother. I'm going to change it up and make this Aqua Fantasy Ariel blue. Cut a ribbon long enough to go from one armpit, down the side, over her feet, and back up to the other armpit. Next, you need another ribbon. Measure from the back below her waist, over the shoulder, down the front, over her feet, up the back to her ears, and cut. This dress is a one-shoulder dress, so this ribbon will need to be cut for that. Hold the ribbon in the back at the waist. Bring it to the front. Go to where the armpit is. Mark the spot with a pin, and put in another pin where the neck is. It will look like this. This is the shape. This is the shoulder strap. The width here is the same as from Ariel's neck to her shoulder. Cut. It'll look like this. It should fit perfectly on the doll. Here's the back. Next, the elastics. They're not part of the dress, but you need them to hold the ribbons in place while you work on the dress. Take the side ribbon, get it under the elastic, and take it up to the armpit. Smooth it out. Take it over the feet and up the other side. Get it under the elastic. Now the front and back ribbon. Get it under the elastic. Smooth it out. Take it to the back and tuck the end under the elastic. In the front, take the ribbon down and over the feet. Up the back and tuck the end under the elastic. Smooth it out. Next, wrap the side ribbon around her ankles, then the front and back ribbon, and hold it all together with an elastic. Two more elastics to hold the ribbons in place. Smooth it out. Make sure the ribbons cover the body and that you're happy with how it looks. Cut a strip of tulle one and a half inches wide and 45 inches long. The strip will be folded in half, so it'll be 22 and a half inches long. Take the folded end and anchor it on Ariel's pinky finger. Wrap the tool diagonally around her arm, working it towards her shoulder. Take the tool around the back and over the other shoulder, and around the arm, and across the back, and over the shoulder, and cross it over. Take it across the back and around the front. 
to the back and over the shoulder again. Bring it across to her waist and wind the tool around the body until you reach the ankles. Tuck the end of the tool under the elastic. Now, with a single layer of tool, the same width, start at the back at the waist and wrap it around the body, right on top of the tool that's already there. This makes a total of three layers of tool wrapped around her body. Tuck the end under the elastic. Now for the pearls. Start at the back. Hold the end down with another elastic. Take the end and make a loop and tuck it under the elastic. Take the other end of the pearls and pull it through the loop. Cross it over the front and hold it in the back. Bring the end around and pull it through like this. Now, wind the pearls around the rest of the body to the ankles. You need two extra inches of pearls beyond the ankles. Cut and pull it through the elastic. The pearls need to be stitched in a few spots to hold it in place. Here at the shoulder, Go through the ribbon. And now, tie the pearls down. Tie a double knot. In the back, tie the end to the pearls across the back. Tie a double knot. You don't want that loop to come undone. I put a stitch here. Here, 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 and here. Now that the ribbons are secured in place by the tool and the strand of pearls, it's time to take off the elastics. You might need something to pull it away from the dress so you can cut it. Leave the ankle elastic on for now. For her necklace, you need a strand of pearls about this long. You'll need a starfish charm. This pearl here, I'm going to detach it from the starfish and use it for an earring, which I will show you in another video. Attach the starfish to the pearls. Wrap it around her neck twice and use thread to tie the ends together. Glue a starfish in the center of her bun. To stick the gems on her dress, put some glue on the flat side of the gem and place it on the dress. Or you can put a dot of glue on the dress and place the gem on the glue. I used diamond-like gems and pearls. Both have flat bottoms. Next, I need 34 inches of the sheer wired ribbon. Fold it in half. I'm marking 10 inches from the end. Pin the layers together so they don't shift. I want to cut diagonally from the bottom corner to the 10 inch mark. I'm using pins to mark a diagonal line. Cut. It'll look like this. Take the pins out and unfold it. This is going to be the collar. Next, I need two blue tail fins 23 inches long and two white fins 23 inches long. The blue fins and the white fins will be cut like the collar. Put both blue tail fins together and fold them in half. Pin all four layers together and measure 9 inches from the end and mark the spot with a pin. Cut diagonally just like the collar.
Do the same for the white fins. Next, apply Fabric Fusion to all the cut edges. This glue will stop it from fraying. A thin line of this along the edges is all you need. It'll take a couple of hours to dry. When it's dry, on the diagonally cut side, take some matching thread and tie a really good knot where the wire ends. Triple knot it just to make sure it's secure. Now, sew short stitches all along the edge right to the end. Leave the thread hanging off the end. Do the same for the other side. And do the same for all the fins. Before I continue, I got more starfish charms for her dress. I stitched three on her dress. Back to the collar. Start at the spot where the wire ends on the cut side. Fold the ribbon back and forth like an accordion. Press down on the wire with each fold. It'll look like this. Continue folding right to the very end. Turn it around and finish folding to the other end. It will look like this. Do the same for each fin. On the collar, grab that thread that was left hanging at the end and gently pull. This will bring that cut edge together like an accordion. Let's put on the collar. The side that has the wire from end to end is the top. Wrap the collar over the shoulder. You should have a tiny bit of wire poking out at each end. Twist the wires together. The wire and the accordion folds make it easy to adjust the collar. Tie the two end threads together in a double knot. Use the threads to stitch the collar to her dress and to attach a starfish to the center. The collar will look like this. Glue two pearls to the tool on her left arm. Now the fins. They are done just like the collar. Pull the thread at the ends. Adjust the side that has the wire from end to end. Curve it so you get a crescent shape, like this. Wrap the thread around the ends. Triple knot the thread to the fins before you cut it. Do the same to the other fins. Now, to attach the fins to the bottom of the dress, take the elastic off. The blue fins go in the front. Pull a fin through the ribbon. There should be a bit of wire poking out at the ends. Twist them together. Tuck it in so it won't snag on anything. Center the fins. Turn the doll over and do the same for the back fins. Twist the wires at the ends to join the front and back fins together. The front and back fins support each other so they can be propped up. And here she is, 
Aqua Fantasy Ariel in Blue. Wow, she looks amazing. Now that you've seen Aqua Fantasy Ariel in two colors, which is your favorite? Turquoise or blue? Post your answer in the comments section or click on the i card and take our poll. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. Check out this video. In this video, I show you how I styled Ariel's hair for Aqua Fantasy Ariel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.